Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And as you guys probably know, I love chainsaws. I've kind of had an addiction to buying them this last year. Counting the pole saw, I've got four steel chainsaws. And the newest one is the little 194T top handle saw. I'll show you that real quick. It's, I bought this because it's super lightweight. I can operate it one-handed for trimming branches up on trees, like if they're in the way of mowing around them. And I thought this would be the perfect saw for working on this brush pile. That's so lightweight that you can cut and then handle the brush with it. The problem is, what I found as I came out here to run this brush pile through the chipper, is I would need to make three or four cuts, drag all that out, chip it, and then go in and make a few more cuts. Or I might not make any cuts for 20 minutes because it was all loose and I could pull it out. So every time I wanted to make a cut, I had to start this gas-powered chainsaw. Not a big deal, but it kind of made me think a battery-powered saw would be more convenient for this job. When I bought this saw, I actually went into the dealer because I wanted to get an MS-170. That's the same CC as this one, and I wasn't really familiar with this saw. But I saw it and said, man, that's more convenient took this up to the counter and then I saw those little bitty electric ones that just have like the four, five, six inch bar on them and are battery powered. I thought, man, that might be even better, but you know, that's not gonna have the power that this has. So I kind of debated, do I get that little electric one or this? And this is the saw I went with. And this is a $400 saw. And I think it will be good for limbing trees where that little $200 electric saw wouldn't be but I still was thinking I'd like to have that little electric saw. Then I got an email from a company that makes a competitive product to the steel saw. Now, that, while that steel saw is under $200, this seems like about the same product for under $100. And that is a 10 volt saw, 10.8, and this is a 20 volt, and that same 20 volt battery will fit in a lot of other tools. So I see a lot of advantages to this setup, if you only look at the spec sheet, this is the superior saw. It has a faster chain speed, which is kind of what determines how quickly you cut through something. You know, it's 20 volts. It's got the same run time and the same charge time as the steel saw. So on paper, this is a better deal. So I've got this one, we're gonna try it out. And I don't like to do product reviews, just sitting down and talking about it. I like to take it into a practical application and really put some use on it. So we're gonna work our way into this brush pile and chip up some material and just see how it performs. I've got my son out here to help me today and he's mainly gonna run this, but I wanna get a couple test cuts in. The only thing you really have to do when you get this is pour oil on the bar. These little saws don't have an oiler. You just pour some oil on, cut with it for a few minutes, pour a little more oil on it, it's not something, I mean, it's only got 25 minutes of runtime on the tool. So you might oil this four or five times while you're using it. If it runs slow, it's like, sounds like that. That's because you have to push this button right here to get your speed. The first time I fired it, I thought there was something wrong with it because it was turning too slow. But you got a button here. Seems to cut pretty good. You ready to get started?
love the smell of that mulch. All right, so I tried this out a little bit, and then mainly my son ran it, and he's 16, doesn't have a lot of experience with chainsaws, but he has used them a little bit to help me, and he said this was the perfect tool for what he was doing. Because you're kind of fighting your way into that brush pile, and then you get a hold of it and drag out what you need, and you want to make that one cut, and then go back to dragging it around. You don't have to start this, or let it sit there and run for five minutes till you need it. So the battery powered options are definitely convenient for this. Now I can't compare the Chemo brand because I've never ran a similar tool from another brand, but it did the job and I've been happy with it. I like the idea that this battery can be used in other tools. And so I'll definitely put it through some more use. And then six months from now when I've used it a dozen times or more, I'll give more of a full review. So this is never gonna replace this saw. I believe this is a 40 cc saw. If I cut down a whole tree with one of the bigger saws and then want to go down through it and remove the smaller limbs, this will do that job quickly. This won't. But for what we were just doing right there, this is the perfect tool. I'll put a link in the description and in the pinned comment where you can get this saw if you're interested. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. You should see a couple more of our videos on the screen, and I'll see you next time.